Here's the start of the chicken tractor. Took two uh, frames that were made uh, for a canopy of some sort, like an awning, and I welded them together. Well, here I'm marking some of the uh, side pieces at 24 inches and cutting them on this miter saw. I cut one, it was the first one I cut, and I made that my pattern so I don't have to keep measuring them. I'll need a bunch of them along the, uh, the box on the bottom. I'm trying to teach my son how to use tools. I know how to do it, I just can't find it in the thing. You can't see. It's coming along. We even got him using a tape measure. Oh good. 69 inches he's looking for. Right here. Oh, there it is, I just can't. Oh, look at him go. Jeffrey Bezos. No, what's your uh, YouTube name? At the Great Outdoors. Oh yeah, here's At the Great Outdoors at his best. Come on, make sure that shit's tight. tight. I guess you're right. Here's At the Great Outdoors, take two. You didn't hit it, son. Yes, move, I did. move over. Cut the video. <laughs> well, this is what she looks like so far. She's coming along. At the great outdoors is in the house, not feeling well, so I'm working on it all alone. That'll be a nice sized door there. Plan on cutting the uh, steel out afterwards so I can get in and out very you know, efficiently. I'm kind of a big guy, I need a big door. I'll have to duck. The door will be flush with the tubing so nothing should get in there. I did take the time on my door to make this uh, type of connection, I guess you call it. Kind of a pain in the butt. Most guys do it to the whole thing. It would take forever. There's got to be a quick and easy way to do it. But I did take the time to do it here by the door. I wanted it flush to the frame when I'm done. So that'll work good. All right, we got the great out at the great outdoors back out of the house. Oh, sports one. I'm sorry, at the great outdoors for it. Screwing. Don't let me get you sidetracked. I think you gotta move over. Back. Other way. Yes. Got a door started. Half flap design. Um, I want to put the chicken wire around the bottom before I install the door. So I'll pull the frame off here. Let me zoom back out where I'm supposed to be. I'll pull the frame off and put the chicken wire around. Uh, I also bought a stapler today so I don't have to use a hand stapler. It's an air pneumatic you want to call it stapler. I'll uh, show you that when we get to it. I am not affiliated with Central Pneumatic in any way or Fast and Strong, but uh, this is what I bought for fastening the heart cloth to the side of the chicken tractor. I'll let you know how it works out when we get there. Well, here's the hardware cloth I bought from Runnings. 
24 inch. We're gonna put it on, put it on the bottom here. Here we have Mrs. At American Country 716, hard at work. What a chicken farmer we got here. Look at her go. Gosh, this is gonna be a high rated video. Look at her using her side cutters. Not well, so far the chicken tractor's uh, keeping the big chicken, Mrs. American Country, at American Country 716, caged. She can be quite fe uh, feisty, so it's working good so far. So the little stapler that I bought <clears throat> works really nice. If anybody's doing anything with chicken wire, or hardware cloth. This is the way to go. It's way easier than using a T50 arrow stapler. Fast. Works really well. Very happy. Well, there she is. A nice door. Hard cloth, or I don't know what you call that stuff. I got chicken wire on the top. Just gotta finish this spot here and staple up the hard cloth from the inside to the door frame. So I gotta put a door latch on there. The door seems to seems to swing pretty good. Just coming along. So, the tarp is on. I put a fabric underneath the tarp to prevent the chicken wire from poking through the tarp. Uh, I think it'll help keep the uh, tarp in good condition a lot longer. Um, this is what I came up with for a latch. It's just an old piece of a uh, bolt bin leg. Here's the inside. Hopefully we'll have chickens in this tractor very soon. I want to thank everybody for watching and subscribing to my channel. We are at over 100 subscribers as of right now. I hope to continue making content everybody enjoys. Thank you.